Hey everybody, how you doing today? Superfiend here. Welcome back to Frostpunk, where it is uh, day 28, I guess. Yeah, day 28 and then day 29 and day 30 are coming up here. Uh, let's do a quick recap here. We have uh, quite a few houses. We got some infirmaries. We don't really have any sick people. We're still dealing with the Londoners. There are five remaining and their tendency to abandon their cause is going way down. Uh, we have upgraded all of our coal mines to steam coal mines, and same thing with our steelworks. They are now all steam steelworks. We do want to build an outpost depot here, and we want to set it up over at, not the fishing village, uh, this one here, which, uh, Tesla City. We want to be able to start getting steam cores, because then with those, I think we can make, um, like, field kitchens and other buildings that are hot, as long as we do the research for them. And speaking of buildings that we can build after doing research with the uh, with the food here We have these hunters hangar and we haven't built any of these yet. So I'm thinking maybe we'll um, we'll replace a couple of these uh, uh, hunt Hunters huts with the hunters hangers. Let's go ahead and let's see it's 40 wood 40 steel uh, We got plenty of wood plenty of steel uh, Our coal is a little bit worrisome. We're, we're using too much coal and we're going to need to use even more with this cold snap coming in. So let's go ahead and let's drop uh, down two of these. That's going to get us um, a lot a lot more food. And it actually employs less people. Or no, no, the 10 out of 10 is for building it. So that's fine. Um, we're going to make a change over here. We're going to change the work hours uh, to 6 to uh, 20. So that's from 6 a.m. to 8, right? 6 to 8. And we're going to do that over here as well. And the reason we're going to do that is because we really need that coal. We need tons of coal. We also are going to turn on the heater here because this building is currently uh, too cold. Actually, uh, you know what? Let's just let's just get the field kitchen going. Wait, wait, hold on. Uh, let's set this field kitchen to work uh, the same hours as here. And we'll do that with this field kitchen. So now it's opening. It's got five out of five. And five out of five. This is still cold, so we want to turn this heater on. Okay. And maybe we want to turn on this hub right here and just get that going. That's good. And then we could probably turn this off. So let's see what happens with this. Come on. Come on, little steam hub. No? Okay, we'll do that. And then over here, we have a field kitchen. And we're gonna go ahead and change the work hours over here. So now discontent is going up because we have a little bit of overtime work, uh, but our hope is really high. And other than that, we really don't have any sources of discontent. And now people are happy in here. Now, which one is this? The field kitchen? Uh, no, I think we're okay. And the infirmary, ooh, chili, chili, chili. How many patients do we have? I don't think we have very many patients. No, no, we don't have any patients. We got a few over here, so maybe this one we want to uh, turn up the heat. We have lots of, if we close this real quick. Uh, ooh, what's this, the hunter's hut? Uh, those I don't think we care about so much. Uh, but we could turn on these hubs right here. And then that's gonna warm up all this stuff. Now back over here, uh, we have a field kitchen somewhere. Where is it? It's really hard to kind of click on these sometimes. Here's our field kitchen. Um, it's open, it's working, it's closed right now. So this is all gonna warm up in a little bit. And then look at these, these things are like toasty. So we can uh, we can turn those down and it gets down to just chili. Okay, I think that's fine. I think we can turn this one off. That's chili. Okay, we'll turn this one off. So everything back here is chili. That's, that's not quite so good, but uh, we kind of need to conserve coal. Now, if we look at our generator here, we did uh, put it in the overdrive a little while ago, and it's only down to 45%. And we're probably going to have to use it again here when we drop this level. And I hope there's not another drop after this, because if there is, then we're probably going to be in big trouble. We are currently researching heater efficiency upgrades, so all of our heaters in the buildings will burn less coal per heater. Um, that's per hour, I believe. And let's see what else... What else do we really care about? We probably want some like generator efficiency upgrades. So when we finish this, uh, we probably want to go in and get this. this is 125 wood, 75 steel. And that's probably where we need to head next. And we do have some workers coming in, 35 more. So we're gonna need to build some houses right here in this little ring. 
So let's go ahead and let's start building some houses. Okay, so we'll go like uh, one, two, three, not enough steel. Okay, so we're gonna need more steel. And then when we can, we wanna get another outpost team. And that's gonna take 40 wood, 20 steel, and um, a handful of workers. So we actually don't need houses for all the people that are coming in, because some of them will immediately be converted to an outpost team. And, 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 so we got our work hours increased. We can sign a law, that's the other thing that we need to do here. And we're gonna go in, I wanna get this thing way up top. Uh, we're gonna do Protector of the Truth. The captain will assume the title of Protector of the Truth. He will be the only one who can tell us what is right and what is wrong, and so guide our faith. After introducing this law, another one cannot uh, can be passed after one day, 12 hours, and we will get a new ability, Captain's Words for Faith Keepers and the Temple, and each use greatly reduces discontent. However, discontent will rise, and what I really want is I wanna see what this this glowing red one up top is that that one sounds tempting. Hear me! Hear me! Hear me! Uh, we also need some streets here for our new houses. We don't really worry about uh, spending the wood. Wood's, wood's pretty easy to come by. We have plenty of wood. Okay. So that should take care of that. And uh, let's get the day going. It is six o'clock. Six o'clock in Frostpunk time. And yeah, we need lots and lots of coal before before we get to here. Oh boy. I hope that a bunch of people don't die. What is the truth? Our captain has the answers to all of life's mysteries. What a smart captain we have. Uh, no, let's go back to here. Oh, okay, that's for making a new uh, scouting team. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go to the... We've already been to the wrecked vehicle, right? Yeah, depleted. All right, we're going to go to the abandoned sawmill. Eight hours. Eight hours or both eight hours. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to get resources when we go there. And these guys are coming back. These guys are coming back. They're bringing food. Let's go to city. Okay, good. And everything's kind of looking good here. Right now, with these hunter's huts, uh, we're gonna be able to get uh, more food. So if we build, if we build three hunter's huts, let's see. Each one of these gets uh, 15 food. We'll bring in raw food. Uh, 20 per day. 20 per day. Now let's see. Let's get this built. Oh wow. Very prophetic. Uh, 30 per day, right? So we had four of these, that was 120. So if we just have three of these, that is the same food production. And do they take the same amount of workers? 15 and 15, okay. So it's uh, pretty close, pretty close. And let's see, we're just waiting for our technology here. And you know, I'm, it's kind of tempting to build a little gathering post here to get some extra coal. Uh, it's really kind of tempting. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's let's see resources. Little gathering post. We'll just uh, drop this right here. Actually, if we go further out, then we can even get wooden stuff from it as well. Yeah, so we'll do that, and then uh, we'll connect it to the streets. Not really, you, you don't want to do that? Oh, come on now. Does that one work? That one seems to work. Okay. And so that place is gonna work. Heater efficiency upgrade. Okay, good. Uh, what we want to do next, let's look in here real quick. Steam hub range upgrade that could be nice because then the steam hubs could go a little bit further But they will also consume twice as much coal. Ah, gosh, everything takes coal. Oh My goodness. Oh my goodness all this uh, this coal Yeah, I don't know that I care about all that uh, resource depot upgrade gathering post 
insulation, efficient gathering, blah, 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 charcoal. Uh, you know, this could be good too. It uses intense heat to char up to 70 wood per standard workday, producing more coal. Uh, there's also this coal thumper, which we never did. It takes um, seven hours, and by pumping pressurized water into underground coal deposits, the coal thumper washes the precious resource to the surface, forming a pile of up to 560 per day, enough for two gathering posts. You could have, so you you like you make this, and it makes coal appear on the map, and then you put gathering posts next to it. Uh, faster gathering, employing better tools and methods, people gathering resources from coal piles, wood crates, and steel records will work 50% faster, whether using gathering posts or not. I mean, that's also kind of, kind of neat. And you know, the only reason I'm really considering this is because we, like, we really need uh, some coal. We need, we need to do something about our coal problem. Now, the other thing here is, if we get this, we could get the generator efficiency upgrade. However, I'm guessing that uh, this is going to take 11 hours. 11 hours from now is is still going to be today. So, I mean, we might get there just in time. We might get there just in time. Okay, so let's go ahead. We, we want to get the uh, that, that level 4 tech upgrade. Right, that's what we want. And everything here is no worse than chili. The res reforce resource depot is freezing, but nobody works in them. So like, I don't know if that's really an issue. I'm gonna treat it as if it's a non-issue, but I don't know, maybe I'm doing that wrong. Uh, these guys are gonna get to where they're going pretty quick. These guys are still 15 hours away. Come on chums, hurry up. We want those workers. Yeah, I know, research is currently um, on hold. Okay, here we go. Okay, research is, is kicking away here. Uh, and I think that was 11 hours, so at like 2300 today. And then, uh, let's see, how's our coal doing? We got about a, a, a day's worth of coal. Uh, we could make these guys do a 24 hour shift. Uh, we could do it. We haven't been using these uh, these features very much. Yeah, okay, you know what? We're doing it. We're doing it at each one. We're going a 24 hour shift here. Okay, the shrine. Okay, scouts. Resources, abandoned sawmill. Indeed, it is a sawmill. It hasn't been used in a very long time. Everything is covered in ice. Take the resources, what did we find? Uh, abandoned sawmill, not much left. There was probably a base here years ago. Now there's nothing left of it but this frozen sawmill. Take resources, we will get wood. Yay. Yay, isn't that what we needed? Let's go to the stone ship now. And let's go back to our city and see if I can't remember what the heck I was doing. Uh, I was looking at the field kitchen. Uh, field kitchens, I guess we can't do a 24 hour shift here. So we're going to have to turn these heaters on. Um, when the temperature drops at nighttime, right? What's this? Sir, a crowd has dragged an old man from his house. They are going to force him to submit to the public penance. Repent, you wretch, someone shouts. Maybe this will teach you to keep your foul mug shut. This man is known for his sharp tongue, but we have no reason to doubt his piety and loyalty. Uh, discontent will fall slightly. He might get hurt. Whoa, our, our discontent shot up uh, pretty high. Um, oh boy. Well, I trust my people. <laughs> I trust the angry mob. Right? Why, why wouldn't you trust the angry mob? Inoperative, why? Oh, no gatherable resources in range. We finally, uh, we finally used it all up. This was a sawmill. All right, so let's, uh, let's dismantle this. And then we have the other sawmills right here gathering this stuff. Okay, fine. Very good. Very good. Uh, Technology is at 46%. We got a while before we can get that other law. And then over here, we could do things that uh, hope will rise. Hope will rise. I want things that lower discontent. This one. Discontent will fall. Our faith keepers will knock on every door to spread the word of our captain and make sure it is obeyed. 
Discontent will fall when the procession starts after midnight. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna do the uh, nighttime procession. Boom. Okay, good. And then uh, if discontent gets too much higher, then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll hit the little book here and we'll do the captain's words. Captain's words. And we don't have anybody that can work here yet. We're still waiting on these uh, these guys. Nine hours. Free time. Not for these guys though. Okay, see, now we have lots of coal, right? Now we got about two days worth, so that's good. And let's see, we're chilly in here. Let's turn the heater on there, there, and there. And our heaters now use one less uh, coal per hour. Uh, close this. What's up, problem, people? The Londoners prey on discontent. A few are persuaded. Uh-oh. A member of the Londoners is talking to a crowd. He's trying to scare as many as possible into joining the exodus to London. But his visions of doom ring false in the ears of people who are content with the situation in our city. Oh, plus 11. No. No. Uh, no, I don't want... Um, we're going to do ask a clerk to reassure the people. So we'll let the number of Londoners rise slightly. Uh, they'll rise slightly, but as this content goes down, uh, they'll leave again. And so we still have here, like, many Londoners will abandon their cause. And there's a, one day, 15 hours left on this, on the Londoners. Ba -bang. Ba -bang. Look at our coal. Our coal is up to 31, 33. One of our people died. That was unexpected. That, like, that came out of nowhere. The Londoners prey on discontent. Revenge! Sir, the priest you sent to challenge the Londoners' speakers. He's dead. They hanged him from the generator. A piece of paper was found pinned to his lifeless body with liars written on it. Um, they went too far. Okay, well, that's all I can do. It's the only thing I can pick. Bloody hell, they crossed the line this time. We'll make them pay. Margaret's pissed. How could they? Oh, there's bad language in this game. <laughs> A burial ceremony is starting at the cemetery. Very good. Glad we uh, glad we built that. That's like back here, right? The cemetery. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see. How are we doing here? Nice and toasty. Where our twenty-four hour work shift is going. The people are going to be a little bit cranky from all that. And we're still a ways off from enacting a lot. Let's uh, let's speed this up a wee bit. And our coal is uh, is good. Nice and high on the coal. Nice and high on the coal. A nighttime procession is starting by the generator. That's going to knock discontent down. Very good. Hope will rise. Some Londoners will mend their ways. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do that now uh, because we've only got one day. We've only got one day until the Londoners like thing is all done and that's got a two day cooldown. So if we're gonna do it, like now's the time. All right, landmark, the stone ship. A distinct spot in Frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for future exploration. Good grief, like how much stuff is there? Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Carry on. So like what, what can we reach? I don't see anything. Is depleted, depleted, depleted. It's all depleted. Like, there's nothing. There's nothing there. So, what would we do? Go to the frozen pond? Alright, I guess we'll go to the. Uh... No, I, I clicked on these guys. Right. Oh. No, I already, I already did that. I don't care about that anymore. So there's really like nothing more over here, unless, unless I'm like not very smart. What am I missing here? Let's go to the frozen pond. How long is it? One day, thirteen hours. Fine. Fine. Okay, how much steel do we have? Good. Uh, because we want this generator efficiency upgrade like very fast. 
Okay, and what time is it? Look at our coal. It's up to 4,200. What is our, like, maximum coal storage? Uh, where do I go to see that? I go to economy? Coal gain, 4,800 per day. Coal consumption, 1,332 per day. The generator, heaters, steam hubs. Coal will last for three days, four hours. That's good. That's good. We got lots of food. All right, let's speed her up again. They have returned safely to the city, and they have uh, they've arrived with 35 workers. You can disband the scouts at the beacon, or send them back out to Frostland. Okay, let's uh, just slow things down real quick. Okay, let's create an outpost team. Bunk. And where are we gonna send them? We're gonna send them over to. We're gonna send them to, okay, so this one's already taken. I guess that's what it means when it's got the little like highlight on it. So we're gonna go to Tesla City. Ooh, or do we want uh, this? 100 steel every day, one steam core. Nah, you know what? I want the, uh, I want the steam core. Are you the outpost team? I wanna make sure that I get the, uh... okay, these are scouts. This is the outpost team. Okay, good. Outpost team number five sent to test the city. Now, if we go here, we can get up to 150 wood per day. That's, that's like, not quite as enticing. And then these scouts are waiting. Where would we go with them? Oh, we could still get more survivors if we went over to Freshwater Springs. <laughs> um, hmm. You know, I don't know if we're going to find anything else over there. Maybe, maybe what we do... Maybe we just disband these guys. Uh, where is... Where's our beacon? It's this right here, right? Uh, if we disband, we'll get 40 wood and we'll get 5 workers back. Uh, you know what? Let's just... Let's just let them sit. Okay, we'll, we don't have to do anything special with them. What's going on here? What What is this? This just, like, showed up and then these guys popped down over here. And then these guys are on their way with more food. Okay, fine. Alright, looks good. Free time. Oh, we need to, um... We need to assign workers, right? We need to assign workers. Uh, let's see here. What is what is this? A sawmill? People abandon the Londoners. They're down to six, so they lost a few. Not much, though. Okay, there. We'll do that. And we'll do that. And then where else are we missing some stuff? We could use uh, more people for the Faith Keepers. What is this? An infirmary? That takes engineers. Where else do we have people, like, not working? We'll go there. Uh, let's do no engineers, and then now we can plop in two more engineers up there. And then where else do we have, like, engineers working where they shouldn't be? Ooh, so we could take all the engineers away from there. Okay, very good. Get another engineer back. Now we got some engineers just sitting around doing nothing. And so the only unemployed people are engineers. And the automata? The automata's doing nothing? Go to work. It is. I guess it's doing nothing. Let's um, let's have it go gather up like this, this coal pile over here. That seems fair, right? Okay, here's our hunters coming back. Hunter's hangar alone in this world. Very low risk of getting ill. Yeah, this is great. We're doing awesome. Now, we got lots of coal. 5,100. 5,100. And the workday is just about to start here. Everything's nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. And we're almost done with our technology. And we're, we're like one day away. Okay, let's speed it up. Let's speed it up here. Difference engine research. Yes. Yes, this is good. Oh, our coal is full. Our coal is full. So are we still on a 24-hour emergency shift? We are. It hasn't even stopped yet. Um, uh-oh. Our coal is really full. Okay. 
How much wood do we actually have in here? Oh, you know what? We got tons of uh, capacity for for wood. So you know what? Let's uh, let's change and do coal. And we'll change this one and do coal. That gives us another 1,800 coal. And then we're still like halfway away from our wood. All right, now what's going on here? These guys are ready to research more. That is what is going on here. Okay, generator efficiency upgrade. Generator coal consumption will re be reduced by a further 10%. That's good. Oh, we'd have to get this first. Um, now, what does this take? 12 hours? Generator power upgrade, generator safety bypass, generator range upgrade. Um, well, you know what? I think I want this first. Uh, blah, 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 blah. A further 10% reduction. So let's do that because our generator is going to be uh, going bonkers here pretty soon. Now let's just speed things up, get things going back to normal. Okay, everything's very toasty. We're doing pretty good. We got lots of food. Wood could be better, but you know I'm not going to stress out over it. Uh, what's going on over here? Uh oh. This is very cold. Let's get the heater on. We don't want these people to die. Now it's just chilly. Uh, do we want to like plop a field kitchen nearby here? Cookhouse, health, people, tech. We could uh, drop a steam hub nearby. Nice thing with the uh, with the steam hub. Uh, you know what? Well, let's do the field kitchen because we we have lots and lots of food. Okay, so we're gonna put a field kitchen right. What is this? Hmm. Okay, well, this stuff may get dismantled eventually. Yeah, still doesn't want me to uh, build there. So we got five out of five people coming to uh, put this together. We're still on 24-hour shifts in here. But look at that. We are nice and toasty. Everyone in there is very comfy. And we've got about five days of coal. We are we are kicking booty here. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's change this to coal. Because our we're not getting anywhere close to it with our steel. Let's change this one to coal as well. Okay. Yes, we're doing good. Is there still wood for this one to gather from? Barely. Like, how much How much more do we have? Build a sawmill nearby to start extraction. Is that not in range? No, they're getting 7.7 .7 an hour. It's really not much. Oops, zoomed out too far. And this is like our original... Um, our original little uh, uh, resource outpost was like over here somewhere. I can't find it now. Okay, whatever. Oh, let's uh, let's put people in there now, so that will help warm this up. Goody. Lots of coal. Five days of coal. Holy crap! It's gonna go down. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is gonna be brutal. Uh, what 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 the heck was that? Oh, those are the hunter ships. Oh, that's cool. That was cool. Uh, where are you guys? Build an outpost. Okay, good. They're still waiting, and they're still uh, cruising over there. Okay, fine. Fine. Everything's good. We're we're doing awesome, actually. Uh, this is gonna be tough though. This is a big uh, this is a big drop in temperature uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe we want more food, right more food 
So let's uh, let's go over uh, resources. Resource depot. So let's drop uh, like one there. There and there. Okay. And then uh, we'll make some of those food and some of those could be um, maybe more coal. Looking at our little bars down here. And then uh, let's get some more of the hunters hangers, right? Maybe we'll just build out this way. So they'll just be like right behind the other ones. I kind of like that. And then um, we need to dismantle this street right there. Then we'll do another hunter's hanger here. And then we'll do a uh, street going like this. Okay. And then uh, we can, well, we'll build these and then tomorrow we'll dismantle these ones. So, and then that's gonna really up our food production by a little bit more. And we'll have plenty of food to enact like little, um, you know, all these little things that we need to like heal people and get people back to work faster and stuff as they get sick and whatnot. Uh, Cause we are gonna hit another pretty nasty cold snap here, right? And if we go over here, uh, we got two days. We could do discontent will fall. Um, bam, let's do it. Oh, and we can enact a law. Let's go see what this one is. This is what we wanted to see. Come on. All the way up top here. All the way up top. All the way up top. A new faith. With the introduction of the new faith, all who voice doubts will be branded enemies. Oh. Everyone must be devoted to the survival of our cause. All those who do not follow will be swept aside. Oh, boy. Uh, after introducing this law, another one can be passed after three days. Hope will never be a problem again. Holy crap. A public execution space will be built. Some heretics will die. Some people will feel compelled to fight this law. Um, okay, this is getting a little harsh here. I don't, I didn't really know that we wanted to go down this path. Um, but I mean, if you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound, right? So <laughs> here we go, new faith. Eek! Okay, sir, people are rioting in the streets and demanding that you stop what you're doing. They say this isn't what our faith stands for, that you're destroying everything beautiful and pure about it to gain absolute control over our lives. They shout that this is madness and that you're a usurper, not our true shepherd. Roughly a quarter of our people are determined to fight. The others are silent. The new faith will be signed. People will die. The new faith will not... Uh, okay, I guess people will die. Uh-oh. Hope will never be a problem again. Devotion. He is the voice. He is our shepherd. He will save us. Very wise words, Hugh Whitewood. Uh-oh. The night of change. Dawn breaks and the streets are silent. You've declared your laws, God's will, branding all who oppose you as heretics. Everyone who was a threat to the unity of our city and the new faith has been dealt with. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. 13 citizens died. Oh, that's not so bad. The others have renounced their views. Hope will never be a problem again. No one will think in these terms anymore. Had to be done had to be done so we only lost 13 people that's actually not so bad let's um should we go get more people let's go get more people uh hope will rise when the ceremony begins discontent will fall when the ceremony begins well you know what we're doing pretty good, and like hope is never gonna be an issue again. So you know what? I I, I think that's pretty good. Uh oh, an execution platform has been set up by the generator. Whenever you order it to be put to use, an enemy of the faith will be executed. This will lower discontent greatly. 
Uh oh. It's not it's not really the kind of person that I am, but um Well That's our path, right? In for a penny, in for a pound. Uh, these guys are gonna deliver a steam core soon. We've almost got our generator efficiency upgrade. These things are almost built. One more people died. Why do they keep dying? Shouldn't be dying so much. Yeah, we need people to operate these things. Uh, we'll do that in the daytime. So let's uh, let's go here. Now let's see. Okay, so our long shift is over. It's been over for a while now. Okay, we got about five days worth of coal, cause and we're gonna need it. Look at this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're going to need to build houses for uh, these people when they come back. Uh, we could probably start ringing them around this way and getting rid of some of these care houses. And we could use this little space right here. We got a lot of uh, sloppy roads in here, too. All right, let's see. What am I watching for? Let's wait for our, uh, all the people to come back. Okay, now over here, let's do... Um, look, the little flying hunters are coming back. Look, there they come. Look at that. That's so cool. Instead of walking back like these other poor suckers that will start slowly like trudging their way in here pretty soon. Temperature falls. Yeah, okay. How can we survive a cold like this? Oh, God, I don't want to freeze to death. Don't worry, I got you. I got gotcha. you. We're gonna we're gonna do this just right. Uh, okay, let's see. Our our food is gonna go up greatly. So let's do let's do raw food. Let's do food rations. So that that gives us a lot more capacity. And nothing else is even close. But our coal is an issue. So let's do coal and that one. Okay, good. And then uh, let's see here. Uh, we've lost quite a few people over here. We've lost some people over here. Um, okay, let's kind of go a little bit fast. Yeah, here's all the hunters coming back, right? Work time. Generator efficiency upgrade research. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, generator power upgrade allows us to raise the temperature in all heat zones by one level. The coal consumption is tripled. Holy smokes. Generator safety bypass. I wonder Did we get this one yet allows us to raise the temperature of all heat zones by two when the generator is put into overdrive Oh, so that we'd have to go down to here uh, Each heater concern consumes three coal per hour when running Blah. Three levels like okay, that's 11 hours This is 10 hours, so the two of them would be like tw less than 24 hours, right? And then what about over here? House redesign, what can we do here? Houses will cost 10 wood and 10 steel less to build. That's not really an issue. Infirmaries will employ fewer people, minus five engineers. So we can get some engineers back, that's uh, 10 hours. Hunting tactics. Hunters' huts will employ fewer people. Um, and then the hot house allows us to build a hot house. Let's see. Are we going to start running out of wood soon? That's another issue. Are we going to start running out of? We got lots of wood back here. So no, we are not going to be running out of wood soon. Advanced coal mine. Oh boy. Up to 600 coal per workday. This is probably going to be something like 900. 
240, 600. I could even be over a thousand. Uh, we're missing we're missing a uh, 36 steel to do this, but then we could get like the advanced coal mine. And with the advanced coal mine, we could probably get enough coal to keep everything running and hot enough as is, and we wouldn't need to worry about these. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do hunting tactics because we're going to... Uh, oh, that takes steel. Oh, this takes steel too. Darn it. Um, I was hoping they wouldn't take steel. <laughs> this is... Okay, but let's do let's do hunting tactics. That's gonna get us uh, some workers back, okay? And then when we have enough steel, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll get that next like level upgrade thing, and then we'll go for the generator uh, doodad. Uh oh, some buildings are too cold. Everything's too cold. Oh crud. Okay, let's just get everything nice and warm. This is still too cold. We don't have any patience in it though. A bunch of workers, but no patience, so. Makes you wonder, like, do we even really care? Okay, now this one, we're gonna uh, dismantle and dismantle, and then we're gonna put those workers like over in here. We need to turn this this uh, steam hub on. Yeah, I guess we'll turn it on. Now all the houses are chilly. That's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, minus 76, and it's gonna drop one more level uh, soon. Yeah, boy. These guys are three hours away. Uh, everybody else is pretty good. How many patients do we have? We really don't have very many sick people, do we? Uh, workforce, patients. The infirmary, this one infirmary is where all of our patients are. Let's, uh, let's use 10 food rations, right? That seems fair to me. And then let's look at our generator. Um, oh boy, we're gonna have to overdrive through this one here. Like we're barely making it through this. And that is going to, it doesn't cost any extra coal. Doesn't cost any extra coal, but scouts have reached the frozen pond. A distinct spot in Frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. Oh, like the other one over here, where there was like nowhere else to go. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. We have found a ruined warehouse, so let's uh, let's go there. And then these scouts are they're almost there. And these guys are delivering a hundred food, and I don't know where the Steam Core people are. Yeah, man. Hunting tactics has been researched. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is excellent. We just got a whole bunch of workers back. So, uh, Max. 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 None, Max. Let's get some engineers back. What is this, workshop? Okay, those are all full. Uh, Max. 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 This is a care house. Nobody's in it. Nobody's in this one either. Okay. And then what else do we got here? Okay, that's good. 
Oh, uh, duh. We need to start researching. What am I doing? What do we get here? Uh, they'll heal people 15% faster? Don't care. Thanks to better weapons and enhanced detection, hunters setting out from the hunter's hangar will return with more raw food. Up to 45. Wow, that increases our food by quite a bit. Uh, but you know what? We really need to uh, go down this one here. So we need automatic prototyping. This is going to take 12 hours from where we are now, which is going to put us at 19... And then 10 after that. So sometime in the morning, and then we want to get some sort of generator upgrade before we get to here, right? Uh-oh. Uh, Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. They quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and ask you to address the problem. You'll have to start heating nine of the cold homes within two days, then keep them heated for two days. Let's heat all the homes. You have to start heating 19. Um... Okay, you know what? Let's go big or go home. Let's heat all the homesies. And let's start... Let's start with some... Uh, brrr, steam hubs here. Is that all my resources that I run out? Is that what happened? I ran out of steel. Okay. Uh, but I was still, I was still uh, going through all the like little healing buildings and stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, none, max. None, max. We're gonna free up all of our engineers, which is good. Okay, well, some of these are still going to be uh, powered by engineers. These are field kitchens. Okay, but we're freeing up all of our engineers. Uh, maybe maybe we want to drop another workshop. Uh, okay, what was that noise? These guys are waiting. Where are they? Freshwater Springs. Ooh, we'll find survivors. Um, and then, oh, then we have this too. Uh-oh. That captain's voice. Sir, our people are fighting. A crowd of believers gathered in the street to discuss the new law, and they soon came to blows. Our captain is the voice of truth. How can you doubt that for a second, cries an outraged woman. A burly worker answers her solemnly. He's our leader, but a man all the same, and he can err like anyone else. Our faith needs no prophets. How should we resolve this? People may get hurt. Hope will... Whoa, well, hold on a sec. Hope is never going to be a problem again. All right, faith keepers. Get out there and uh, do your stuff. Cookhouse is too cold. We, we losing people to deaths again? People dying? Oh man, this this place is freezing. That's bad. Very cold, very cold. Oh my goodness. We do not have the uh, the heat capacity out here to keep all this stuff warm enough. Ooh boy. Oh boy. And then uh, we need to build some houses. Uh, this is like a good spot to build houses, because uh, we're gonna get some survivors. Oh, uh, we need uh, we need more steel. Darn. Okay, so we have to wait. Let's go ahead. Let's explore. Survivors near the freshwater springs. We met some refugees from Winter Home. They are a sorry sight and seem to be completely unmoved by the fate of their city. Asked what kept them from starving, they look away, then mumble something about eating lichens. Lichens. So we're gonna get some children and workers. Um. Okay basic people. They don't have any particular skills. Okay. And then let's see here. We got still got a while before we can do a thing. Coal pile depleted. Which one? This one. Oh, okay. Very good. Uh, let's go gather up this one then. Scouts have reached the ruined warehouse. Blurp. Resources at the ruined warehouse. Three of the four walls are still standing, protecting a small stash of snow-covered supplies. 
With moderate effort, we were able to remove the crates containing supplies from under the snow. We'll put them to good use in our city. Wood and food. And then, uh, that's it. Like, have we now uncovered everything? Sure looks that way, doesn't it? Oh, no, there's... What? Where did this stuff come from? Okay, well, let's send these guys back to our city with the supplies. And then, uh... And then we'll eventually we'll go out here and we'll hit Frozen Grove and Snow Cliff. Alright? And where are we at now, time-wise? We're, we're at about 50 minutes, so it's about time to wrap this up. Scouts have reached the... No. Two homeless, one sick. Okay, yeah, houses. I want to build houses, but we have to, uh... We have to wait. I don't have enough steel to build any houses. Look at this weird, uh, like, graphical glitch. It's from the, uh... From the ice overlay that's around the edges here. Which I didn't notice until now, excuse me. But as it gets colder and colder, like, the ice creeps in around the overlay more and more. It's kind of a neat little touch. Unexpected guests, refugees from Frostland. A group of exhausted survivors has reached our city. From their frantic explanations, we know they've come a great distance and that many of them died on the way. The phrase, doom is coming, keeps being repeated, and they say many more refugees are following them. They're begging to help them. Holy smokes. This group will enter our city. You'll decide what to do with the others later. Uh, well, we will help them. Resolve the situation with the incoming refugees. Okay. Secure at least livable conditions in home. Zero out of 19. All these heaters are on, but these houses are not getting hot. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? If we just replace... Oh, if we just place all these uh, bunk houses with houses, we'll be good. That's all we really have to do. But um, houses. Oh, my goodness. We need steel. We need lots of steel. Darn, darn, darn. Please say some of you have steel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What are you guys? Where are you guys? Uh, time 70 survivors. Oh my goodness. Okay, well these uh, these scouts will come out here and get them. Holy crap. Holy crap, we're getting way more people than I bargained for. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. We need to get to morning time. Let's get to morning time. <laughs> oh my god, we got so much coal. Uh, but man, we need steel and other stuff. So we're probably going to have to do 24 hour work shifts here. People are hungry? No, nobody should be hungry. People are uh, sick, though. Okay. I think this is where we're going to pause this. So let me let me make like a verbal reminder to myself of what we need to do when we come back. We got to start converting these bunk houses to houses. In order to do that, we're going to need lots of steel. So we are going to have to enact, uh, I think, emergency shifts over here at the Steamworks so that we can get a lot of steel uh, to get that stuff built. And we have... We have 13 hours to make all these homes livable. Now, what we can do is we can kick this in the overdrive, like for a little bit, but we don't want to do it for too long because the uh, temperature will drop here. Uh, it's going to drop further, and we're probably going to need to use some overdrive to make it through that. Now, the other issue is, is we are researching. What are we researching? Okay, let's close it. What are we actually researching? Automatic prototyping, which is what? Allows us to reach. Oh, okay, we're doing this down here. Duh. Okay. So when we get this done, right? And it's gonna it's still taking a while. But when we get that done, we need to go in here and we need to get like generator power or generator range. Um, and I'm guessing that generator power is what we really need because that is going to allow us to raise the heat zone. Uh, we might also want to look at overdrive couplings, which would allow us to raise heat zones by two levels when the generator is put into overdrive. Um, but we also need more range on our generator. So 
you know that's what we're looking at when we come back we have a lot of coal about three days at our current usage but when we kick up that heat generation it's probably going to drop down to about two days or maybe a day and a half and then we're probably going to have to do like another 24-hour emergency shift at our coal mines but they're not going to stay warm enough so i don't know. You know i hope and then we have a ton of people coming in we have We have uh, like 50 people here. Uh, so we got like 70 people coming in and then a bunch of children. And we're gonna need to build houses for all of them. I'm thinking we could squeeze some in here. The, the care houses aren't really being used so we could probably dismantle like one of the care houses and get like a few houses here. That's probably enough for about 40 people. And then what's this back here? Child shelter and child shelter. They're both empty, so maybe we'll demolish one and like add some houses here, and that's how we'll do that. But then we need to upgrade all these bunk houses, the houses, and we're gonna end up with homeless people if we don't get like all of a sudden we need so much steel. This is this is unbelievable how much steel we need. Uh, so that's all gonna happen when we come back. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know with comments or thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. You have a good afternoon, and take care.